Krisha Terada. Hi, Secretary. Good morning po. Sir, um, I understand the term now that we're using is expanded targeted testing or that's the direction that we're moving towards to. Pero sir, um, uh, since... Uh, since yun po yung statement yesterday, uh, many reacted in the negative uh, nung sinabi pong iiwan yung testing doon sa private sectors, at least doon po yung sa anti, uh, uh, yung, sa, yung sa rapid test po. Pero sir, um, the question now is, uh, bakit po hindi magawa yung mass testing? I understand there is global shortage, but um, the uh, many people are asking, bakit po yung ibang mga bansa, despite the global shortage, nagagawa po nila magkaroon uh, ng mass testing na natitest even the asymptomatic uh, patients po? Is it a problem of budget, um, the loss, uh, or quite the constricting? Mali kasi yung term na ginamit mo, kaya tuloy nagkagulo sa Twitter. Kaya nga po ang pakiusap ko sa ating mga kasama sa media, ingat lang po sa reporting. No? Kasi yung lumalabas three sa report mo, eh wala tayong expanded testing program. Wala tayong kahit anong programa sa gobyerno na hindi naman totoo. Yung, yung reaction ng tao sa Twitter, ganyan po ang reaksyon pag hindi tayo nag-ingat sa reporting. And although, I have to say na ikaw lang naman ang naglabas ng report na ganyan. I have to say that and get it out of my system. So anyway, hindi po mass testing ang ginagawa natin. It is expanded Uh, targeted testing at wala naman pong bansa sa mundo na lahat ng kanilang mamamayan ay tinetest. Kahapon siguro nagulo ka kasi sinabi ko yung ginagawa nila sa Wuhan dahil sa second wave ay eh, gusto nilang itest yung 11 million residents of Wuhan. Pero sa Wuhan lang po yun, hindi nila kakayaning testing ang lahat ng mga Chino dahil billion nga po ang kanilang population. So nalulungkot ako Trish na bagamat dalawang beses na nag sa atin si uh, Vince, uh, Secretary Vince Dizon eh, ang lumabas pa sa report mo wala tayong pulisiya para sa expanded testing. No? Meron po, kaya nga po inulit ko po muli at uulitin ko po uli kung gusto mo. No? Pero ang kasagutan po sa tanong ninyo, meron po tayong expanded target testing. Siyempre po, sa simula, mahina po yan. Bago po kasi ito sakit na ito, bago yung mga teknolohiya, mga laboratories na ginagamit para itesting sa sakit na ito. Yes, kakaunti tayo nagsimula, pero we're aiming now for 30,000. Maling-mali po yung report mo na wala pong kahit anong priority na binibigay ang gobyerno sa testing. Kaya nga po, si Vince Dizon, ang titulo niya, Deputy Implementer at saka happy po ng T3. Test trace, and treat. I hope I have made myself very clear. And if you need further instruction or um, education on the country's testing program, please approach me. Pero sa panahon ng pandemya, nakikita po natin kung anong reaksyon sa mga hindi namang tamang mga reports, Trish. Sorry to say so. Mm-hmm. Next question, sorry, please. I have to correct that uh, with your indulgence. I well, you don't have to correct it if you don't want to, pero you're not yes. doing the entire nation a service for doing that, no? Uh-huh. And you, you know, sir, I just like to correct that we, I did it before about it. But anyway, sir, moving on. I think you also have to rectify your report, no? Because it really caused um, uh, public uproar, no? At mali naman po. Kasi nga po, this has become a public, par, a private partnership. It's not because of lack of funds. It's because everyone gives priority to testing. Kasi yan nga lang po ang ating paraan para malaman kung saan ang ating kalaban. But again, I, 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 I have to say it, no? Hindi, I cannot do my job without sabi ng lahat, wag ko na rin pansinin Trish, no? hindi, I have to call you out kita mo naman yung naging resulta ng inyong reporting, at ikaw lang ang nag-report na ganyan, buti sana kung lahat ng malakanyang press corps nag-report ng ganyan I would say ako nagkamali, pero you took my statements out of context, nagpanik ang publiko, sa panahon ng pandemic you have to be responsible for what you report, next question please Yusek Rocky okay, okay from um Okay. Now, Secretary uh, CNN uh, stands by the reporter Trisha Tejada, and uh, NUJP is saying that you owe an apology to the CNN reporter for scolding her during a live broadcast for what you claimed was an inaccurate report. Uh, they say that she wasn't able to give her side. Another is you've scolded her for something that she didn't write herself. I'm curious, Secretary, have you thought of this? And was that necessary to scold a journalist during a live broadcast, considering that they were essentially getting it from your own quote? Well, it is very clear. It was a wrong quote. It was a misquote. Because the context that the, the mass testing had to do with the Wuhan-type testing was omitted. No? 
Now, let me see. Let me make it clear, no? CNN has since corrected the story. So there was really a mistake. And sa akin naman, if there's a mistake, if you acknowledge there's a mistake, I don't even demand an apology, just correct it because we're all in the business of the truth. That to me is enough. Mm-hmm. Now, um, well, whatever it is that I owe Trish, I've talked to Trish, and um, whatever it is that I should do, I've done it, okay? But the point is, Trish is the CNN reporter in Malacanang. Whoever wrote the article, and there was no byline, that's the problem, no? Why is it that some news agencies do not have bylines for these stories? Para we know who wrote it, no? In this case, there was really an error that they have corrected. But we also need to know who that person was. Because I think, um, um, as a professional, no, the journalist who made the error should be identified, no? Because it will affect the reputation, no? Mm-hmm. It turns out that it was not Trish who wrote the article. And I think personally, I've I've sent a message to Trish, but I also feel that as the Malacanang reporter, she should have corrected the story of her news outfit, particularly because it's her beat. Alam mo, sa ABS-CBN, marami na akong naging ganyang instance. But I didn't have to do anything because the reporter of ABS-CBN would call the attention of ABS-CBN online. And I can think of three instances already when it happened, no? because that's also part of the responsibility as Malacanang Beat reporters. Okay, now moving on forward, and the only reason I'd like to move forward is you've already said that you've spoken to the CNN reporter, you've spoken to Trish, so clearly you are not going to respond to NUJP's demand that you owe her an apology. Because I, I think NUJP means public apology. I don't owe anything to NUJP. All right, I've done work forward. for NEJP. They probably owe me, but I don't owe them. Okay, <laughs> moving forward now to other issues.